Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. You're watching the part two of the series uh, Xiaomi Redmi 4 Tips and Tricks. In the first video that we are linking here, in case you missed it, we had talked about the basic tips. In this video, we take it deeper with some great modes that are offered by the MIUI interface on the phone. And this video is not just for the Redmi 4 users, but also for the other smartphones from Xiaomi, such as the Redmi Note 3, Redmi Note 4, and even the Xiaomi Mi 5. So let's get started. The first is the light mode. This is a simpler interface of the Mi UI interface and it offers larger icons, a limited number of things to play around with and it is best when you don't want the hassle of several things running in the background. Activating it is quite easy. You need to go to the settings and find light mode with a simple toggle to activate it and this will restart the phone. To deactivate you need to follow the same steps when you are on the light mode. The second tip is about the one handed mode. It's a small device, uh, but sometimes you might still want to have it uh, with a shrunk interface and allow you to reach the corners with ease. That's where the one-handed mode comes to use. It will let you make the size of the content smaller to about 3.5 or 4 inch based on your preference. Once you activate it, under the settings, you need to swipe your finger from home button to the left or right navigation buttons based on which side you want the smaller content area. To close it, just tap on the empty area on the screen. Next is about taking a screenshot, a very basic tip but it always is a needed one because the first time smartphone users need some help. One of the ways to take a screenshot on the Redmi 4A is by pressing the volume down and the power button together and that is a standard Android function that you see on most of the smartphones. The screenshot gets saved in the gallery. Now there's another way to take a screenshot as well. It is a gesture that you need to activate under the additional settings and once you're done, you can take a screenshot using a three finger swipe. That's a three finger swipe from top to bottom and it will take the screenshot. Next one is about setting up the app lock. Setting up an app lock usually requires a third party app because Google doesn't offer any such feature in Android directly. But with MIUI, there's an app lock option. To set it up, you'll have to first set a password for the security and then select the apps that you want to be locked and unlock only after the password is entered. It is a bit more secure than the third party apps because it doesn't give you a framework in between and it actually is a proper app lock that is available for the phones. Next one is about setting up dual apps. This feature is what several smartphone brands have shown as a unique one. But in the MIUI it is just another feature where you can use two accounts for the same app because with dual apps you can have two versions of the same app and thus run two accounts at the same time. How many times have you heard that you can use two WhatsApp accounts in the same phone? This is one of the ways if you have a Xiaomi phone. Just go to settings, tap on dual apps and you can enable the dual apps for certain apps that are supported. There's a list that would show you which apps are supported and which are the recommended ones. Next is about the quick ball. This is a shortcut button that shows up on the screen and whenever tapped, it opens a few quick options and shortcuts so you don't have to always go through the multiple taps for the same. To set it up, go to settings, additional settings and then you'll find the quick ball option here. Turn it on and now you can select the shortcuts that you want to have in it. And also choose when you want to hide it while using some particular apps. It is quite a handy gesture tool that helps do things quickly. Next is another important tip that's the child mode. The child mode is a handy one with restrictions played when your child is using the device. You can set it up by going to settings and additional settings. For setting it up, you need to first set a privacy protection password and also have a Mi account added to the device. The child mode lets you choose which apps to be shown in that mode. Also you can choose to restrict any app from sending SMS. Tapping the home button would take you to the child mode after it's activated where only the apps you are allowed are shown. To exit it, there's a direct exit option that you can tap and then enter the protection password that you had set. You cannot completely exit from it if you don't turn it off. The next tip is on how to clean up uh, cache and uh, free up the space. No matter how much ever the storage space uh, was when you had a new phone, it tends to keep reducing with the files you store. But there are a lot of cache and unnecessary temporary files as well in the system that you can delete and free up space. Here's how to do that. In the settings, go to storage and there the last option named cleaner is the one you need to tap on. It checks for the system files, logs and other unnecessary items that are using the storage and then lets you choose what are the ones you can choose to delete to free up the storage. The next tip is how to perform virus scan on the Redmi 4. Keeping away from malware and virus assay is important because your data on the smartphone is at risk if the phone is infected. Xiaomi has its own security app that does a lot of uh, job of protecting the data by scanning for virus and helps you clear if there is any. To perform a virus scan on your phone, you need to look out for the security app and that should be pre-installed on the phone and then tap on virus to start the virus scan. 
it will look into the files, apps and every folder of the device to see if there is anything that is infecting the phone. The next and the last tip in the series is how to block phone numbers on the Redmi 4. Another help from the MIUI interface is that you get some inbuilt features to block the phone numbers in the device. The same is available in the security app where you can have multiple settings done for the blocked numbers. You can choose some exceptions for particular numbers and at the same time you can add phone numbers that you want to block. Tap on the settings and you will find the filters to block messages, list of contacts which you blocked and where you can add more numbers and have exceptions where you can allow calls or messages from specific numbers. So this was most of the tips, tricks and features of the Redmi 4 smartphone. I hope you liked the video. If you did, do like the video and share it. Comment below if you have any other questions and if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.